Hello. Hello. Um, can you start with your name, please? Yes. Uh, my name is Anna Gili, and I come from Barcelona, Spain. And uh, who do you work for, Anna? I work for Experience Mamoni. It is a company that works here in Mamoni, although it's based in the States. And can you tell me a little bit of history about the organization? Yeah. Um, well, Experience Mamoni as a company started something like three years ago, but it's very closely related to another organization that is an NGO called Earth Train. Earth Train started in the States, in California, and moved here into Panama something like 15 years ago. Um, his, its founder, Nathan Gray, uh, was looking for a place to settle a place to contribute to the environment and was approached by the CUNA, the indigenous CUNA, because the spot where we are working now um, was threatened by all the farmers or, um, well, people were taking over the land of the CUNAs to slash and burn and put cattle. And the CUNA felt that if an organization, an NGO, was to settle next to them in the border, then could help them to, to protect the land, all the land that the CUNA owned, um, CUNA Yala. So that was 15 years ago that it all started very slowly and grew gradually. Nathan Gray um, settled like a, an NGO that helped um, protect the land, but also to um, like stimulate leadership into the youth of the area, to take on positions of leadership so that people would be self-sustainable on one hand and on the other, to make them responsible uh, of their own land and willing to protect it themselves. So that was 15 years ago that it started, but it wasn't until, as I said, three years ago that one branch of that NGO started a smaller company that was dedicated especially for education. So Experience Mamoni, that's the company where I'm working uh, now, it, basically what it does is it brings hands-on experience to, to young people, to students, basically high school and university schools. So they come to our facilities. It's a campus in the middle of the rainforest, very close to the Kunayala border. And in there we do hikes, um, we set some pro educational programs within the forest. We also contribute with a community that is close by, San Jose de Madroño and we provide all these kind of experiences. Thank you. And how do you get to the positions that you are in today? And what exactly is your position in Mamuni? Okay. Um, I actually came here to Panama seven years ago. Um, I volunteered with Air Train, the NGO that I was talking about. Um, it was for a specific program that was with Jane Goodall. We worked a lot and we also together with indigenous communities and it was a big program and stayed here. I stayed here for something like four months and that's when I got to know all this project. I went back to Spain and then years later I was called to work with Experience Mamoni. That's the position that I'm working at now and it's program coordinator and business development. So it's a very small team. So even though I'm, the, I'm in this position, we do a little bit of everything. And exactly what are you in charge of as of like, what are the different projects and like the different uh, things that you do apart from, you know, the development and movement? Well, um, imagine if a group comes, uh, I'm in charge of organizing the logistics, so uh, transportation, lodging, food, shopping, all that. Um, then when the group is 
in the campus. I'm a guide as well, so I take them hiking. Uh, we interpret the forest. Also, um, I help them with scientific projects. Sometimes they come with a particular scientific project they want to work on, like water quality. So with my biology background, I, I help them to establish that project, to, um, well, organize it. That's one part. The other is, for example, the marketing. So uh, helping a guy that is doing the social media, well, helping him organize himself, like uh, what is he going to focus on or the website, whether we should change it or not which universities or high schools we should approach and how making the brochure, a video. I'm not doing it itself, but helping organize it and giving my vision to it. What, what type of projects like, have you seen people bring, bring in? Because like what, what, you mentioned something about your biology background and helping the scientists like, mm -hmm. with their projects. Can you give us some examples of this type of projects? that they have brought in and maybe like a little background of mm -hmm. the type of things they do? Usually high schools do not bring a project. It's recently that we are starting with water quality projects with high schools. Then universities, for example, they've brought in a GIS project where they are mapping all the watershed. So every year they come and they do a full course on GIS uh, there. So they stay for almost a month with us and they bring their computers, their drones, and they fly the drones, they take pictures and then create maps of vegetation, well, land cover. Uh, so that's one of the biggest projects that we hold every year. But we also um, host a lot of researchers every year more and they are basically interested in herpetology. So all the frogs, reptiles, and snakes, um, they are finding very interesting things. So they call other colleagues and come back. We work with the Smithsonian as well. Um, and well, we have a partnership with an NGO that it's called Caminando, and they are focused on the uh, jaguar. So they are studying the movement of the jaguar within the area because uh, as I said, we are in a very important spot. It's a hot spot for biodiversity. We are part of the Mesoamerican corridor. So it's a very large forest that comes from Costa Rica all the way down to Colombia and almost Ecuador. And we are at the narrowest point of the whole stretch of the, of the Americas, basically. And that's where it's threatened to break the continuity of this corridor. So our mission basically is to uh, ensure that this area is protected and the corridor keeps its continuity so that the species can move in that area. For example, the jaguar. Yeah, thank you very much for that. And what are some of your biggest challenges, Anna? Well, there are many, especially in the rainy season when the river grows and we cannot cross and get to our facilities or landslides due to the to the water that falls in very short amount of time all the rains are tricky but throughout the year i would say that because it's a very small team and we are based in panama city but also in the rainforest communication it's kind of tricky we have wi-fi there but as a team to be able to work together and communicate and organize ourselves um, when we are all apart in different spaces, it's tricky. Um, that I would say is one of the challenges. And also working really hard during dry season because that's our high season and we don't have weekends, free days, anything. <laughs> we have to work long days uh, and a lot of days in a row. What group, like what social group, or who do you think you're helping the most? Or who do you think Mamuni is helping the most? Well, that area, um, people that live there, we have a close community that is San Jose de Madroño, but within the valley there are three other communities. But we help especially the community that is close by or the neighbors 
in terms of transportation because we have a, a truck and we go in and out of the valley quite often and they can use our vehicle to get out of the valley or get into their places, to their home. Um, and also we hire, we provide work for quite a lot of people. Um, we also provide opportunities to meet different cultures. We take the children that come, our, our students, to the school of San Jose de Madroño and we work closely with them. So those kids that are in that remote school have the opportunity to interact with other cultures. Um, so yeah, I would say the communities within the valley are the most benefited. Obviously, indirectly, the Kunas that are our, they are our neighbors, but it's secondary in terms of social. What type of um, like environmental sustainability teachings are you projecting to the community? Is there any sustainability projects that you do with the community? Well, it's basically for them to realize that um, that pasture, when they cut and burn and put cattle in the land, it's not sustainable in the wrong land, in the wrong long run. Um, they've seen examples. Sometimes it's just that they don't know another thing to do. Um, so, for example, with reforestation and sustainable timber uh, projects that there are in the valley as well that was it was started by earth train so sustainable timber of native species is something that they are realizing that it creates work um, and also it's sustainable and fauna can use a lot that forest um, others would be the um, Sorry, what was the question again? What What is the teaching? Like, where are you teaching um, like, in terms of the social media to the, the community? Students. To the community, students, like, how are you spreading environmental sustainability? Okay. Uh, also with, with the students that come, that visit us, many times are city students, so kids that haven't been in a environment like that, they, that to start with, it puts them out of their comfort zone. And so it creates more of a, it's a challenge and all the experiences become really like um, life changing. So it's a great opportunity when you have them in the, that environment to explain about conservation. They can feel the, the forest, they can feel and see all the insects and all the fauna that is there and the the amazing um, vegetation and they develop a love for that and appreciation because once you know it, once you have you have lived in it, then you realize how how great it is. Also the climate, when they are there, they feel fresh. They, it's kind of it's another temperature. Then they go back to the city and they feel that heat and they appreciate the, the shade and the protection of the trees and the water quality that we have there. So it develops a love for nature to start with. Also, we talk about ways of planting and growing crops in a more sustainable way. Um, and also about the soil that in the rainforest is not a very... Um, rich soil it's kind of um, poor so all the compost for example we there create our own compost so they learn how to make a better soil out of compost that's another example um when i was there there was there was going uh there was a project going with um like a chocolate group right you yeah. trying to grow cacao is that still going on? Uh, no, really. We the the company has gone under many changes. We are trying. It's in a startup. It's I mean, Experience Mamuni. It's only three years old and very understaffed. So it's it's gone under a lot of changes and challenges. And we decided to focus more on the education, 
and conservation, so researchers and students, and not so much on the agronomic part. So, no. The ones that are doing the cacao actually is forest finance, mm. but not there, not in the vivero, mm. but in other areas. And what's going on in the vivero right now? Is it still go mm, going it's on? It's in standby. It's in standby. Right now it's in standby. All right. Um, is there anything else you would like to tell us, Anna? Oh, my money. Mm. Or your, or your work or your job? Well, it's a very rewarding job, that's for <laughs> sure. I love nature. I love being outdoors. It's also challenging and tiring because you are hiking and working with your body all the time, so sometimes you are exhausted. But every group that comes always says that it changed completely the perspective on life. It creates a lot of bond, bonds between the students. So when a group comes, they get to know each other because of the challenges and they have to work in te as a team. So to be, to witness all that transformation in people, it is amazing. So it's my biggest reward. And Yeah, I'm excited about the changes. We are always changing, we are adapting, and again, we are undergoing some changes, and it seems it's going to be quite good. Exciting. Yeah, exciting. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Anna, for your time, and thank you. good luck with everything. Good luck with your project.